I heard that you were honored at a Chicago Bulls game. Yes. Tell me about that. It was a lot of people. I wasn't nervous. Why not? Why, are you, why is that not a, a scary for you anymore? Because I'm not worrying about people. I'm worrying about who I'm playing. At seven weeks, seven days, he uh, had a hemorrhage on the brain. And for us, that's a stroke. They um, did testing and it came out that he was uh, gonna have cerebral palsy. Well, at first I was sad. Then after me and my wife talked, we decided that we was gonna treat him like he was a normal kid. We weren't gonna handicap him. You know, we was gonna just treat him as, you know, like we did our older son. When I met him and his dad told me he had a disability, uh, to be honest, I said, well, let's go. We, it didn't bother me at all because sometimes uh, God to do things in your life to make other things happen. So that's what it is. He chose drumming, so that's, I think that that's the key to it. Do you feel like you having a disability keeps you from learning how to play? No. Why not? Uh, God. God helps you? Yeah. Do you ever feel like you can't do it? No. Uh, he picked up real fast. More than any student I dealt with. He, he just, it's just the talent he has. One morning, we were listening to Dallas, he was at home playing. And then we heard him playing four songs. And then my wife just looked at each other like, wow, this might be something. How old was he at that point? He was two at that time. Being on pods, pants, everything. You putting him in lessons and him seeing his skills grow, how does that make you feel as a parent? Uh, it makes me feel very proud. I'm proud of him. Do you ever feel like his disability will ever stand in his way? I don't think it will um, because he's just so strong and he's, he's very smart. Where is the ultimate place? Where do you want to perform one day? In my own studio. In your own studio? Yeah. So if you had your own studio, what would you be doing? Yeah, my brother would be making tracks. Yeah? Yeah. 